Hello everyone, this is the latest addition to the Chaos Collection. But before we get into this, I have a question. Do you like the kiss? I love the kiss, folks. You wanna find out more? Stay tuned and come back right after this. This is the newest addition to the Chaos Collection. I believe this is one fourth scale. But before we get into this figure, I wanna go and talk about the shipping box and the art box, and we'll be right back to this figure. Hold on one minute. All right, everybody, here's the shipping box. It arrived in good condition, no major damage. It's got a couple of bumps and bruises, but that's the purpose of it. It's supposed to take the brunt of the uh, shipping so that the in the contents rather does not have to take all of that abuse. This is the art box. Not a whole lot to it. This is a custom, by the way, and I believe it's black. Yep, it's black on every other side except here it has a picture of carnage and that's all there is to this this figure came in the i was about to say styrofoam but it's not styrofoam it's the black foam type stuff the really good quality stuff with the straps on it all right let's get back to the figure okay and we are back like I was saying, folks, this is a custom statue. I believe this is number 36 of 40. Yes, you heard me right. Only 40 of these are in existence. And I feel very fortunate and lucky to have one as part of my collection. There's not a whole lot to this. And that's what I meant about KISS. I like keeping it simple, folks. I like simple things. I'm a simple person and I like simple things. I think this would be considered a museum type statue or pose. And to me, what that means is it's simple. It's got a simple base, nothing complex or complicated about it. The figure is in a just pretty much an upright position. And what I really like about this, hold on, before I get to running my mouth again and forget about this part, let's do a 360, then we'll come back and talk more about it. And I'm still working on my light situation, so hopefully there's not too much shadow on this figure. And you can see everything okay. And that's it. Okay. This did not come with any switch outs unless you want to call the symbiote switch outs. And that's what I really like about it. I don't need a lot of, I don't need three and four heads. I don't need two pair of arms. I don't need all of that. I know some collectors, they like that stuff, but I'm not really into it. It's got one head. And by the way, folks, this is one complete piece. There's no, you don't have to put anything together except for the black symbiote parts in his tongue. That's it. Now the, let me see, I forgot to put this one on, but this one attaches, I believe, somewhere over, somewhere over there on the base, of course. And then there's like, I think this, can you see that? Yeah, that one right there. That one, that one, and let me see. Okay, I hope you can see it. 
that one right there, let me see. There's maybe five or six big symbiote pieces. And then you have, let's see if I can get down here. All of those things right there, those are fingertips. I think there's two sets of fingertips. Looks like there could be more. Anyway, that's one set of fingertips looks like that. And these do come off. And as you can see, he just has stubs for fingers until you attach the uh, fingertips. And these here are fingertips. These things here. And that's all there is to it, folks. Like I said, this is a custom. I got this from someone on eBay. And it looks like he took really good care of it. It may require some light dusting, but otherwise it's fine. I know I say this a lot, folks. I, I'm sounding like a broken record. You're probably tired of me saying it. Hold on, let's get some more light up here so you can get a better view. Let's get close up, too. And you probably get tired of hearing me say it, but I am still fascinated by the quality of work on these, the craftsmanship that went into these, and the artistic skill that it takes to make one of these things. This thing is a work of art, people. You know, you see these on, on eBay or wherever, and you'd be like, oh, man, that's a nice-looking statue. But once you get it in your hands in front of you, it is 100% better than what you see online, people. This thing is amazing. And there's not a whole lot to it. It's, it's Like I said, it's simple. So let's do another 360, and we're going to call this one a wrap, folks. Oh, I forgot. Again, this is an overview, not really a full-blown review, but I still want to give you some information on it. And let's get the height. Where is it? I'm trying to do this with one hand because I'm holding my camera in the other hand, or my phone in the other hand. It is about... All right, from the bottom of the base to the top of his head is roughly... 22 inches and from the bottom of his feet to the top of his head is roughly 19 and a half to 20 inches so it's a pretty tall statue the weight i don't know the weight i'm scared to put it on my little postage scale it might break it but it's pretty heavy All right, let's try to do one more 360, get some light on it, and we're going to call it a wrap, folks. Let me see if I can get my light situated. Get up close here. Look at that. Detail is incredible. All right, I want to give you a good look at that base. I haven't really focused on the base. Not a whole lot to it, and I like that. I like it a lot. All right, folks, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting my channel. And please subscribe if you have not done so. I have plenty more good content coming up. Bye. Got to get that thumbnail.
I think that might be it right there. I guess I could have put his fingertips on, but what the hell, that'll work right there. Alright, bye folks.